Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Oh, my God. It's been a morning. We needed that hour that we lost, huh? Yeah. Oh, we did lose an hour. Yeah. That's why I was yeah. 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 <laughs> That's exactly Jesus. Right. So something in that hour, we needed it, and it's gone. <laughs> you are not lying. Man. Mm. Good morning, everybody. We are back. Another episode of Ladies Free Podcast with our special guest. We promised that we'd be back, and we are back. The kind one is back with us with our breaking code segment that we love so much. Oh, oh <laughs> I just want to say thank you <laughs> for being with us this morning again. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it's been a task, you know, time change and everything, but but we got it and we're here. Yes. We we're here. Some, some great content today. You got to love technology. Got, got to. I think you told me last night and you showed me what time it was because the time change. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little party going on. Oh, I gotta go home. <laughs> we had a, a point where the microwave and the stove said 2 a.m. and then my little uh, alarm system said 3 uh, three something. Oh, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> it's time, it's time to shut it down. Man. Y'all forgot or something? Yeah, it was. Did y'all forget? I forgot. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> we here though. We here. We here. Can y'all hear me? Yes. Yeah, we can hear. Okay. 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 Yeah. I um I forgot that the time changed, but what really freaks me out when time changes is that all these automatic devices automatically changes. So I'm like, did it kick in? Is there something I need to do? Yeah. You know? So I only confirm it when I come downstairs and check the microwave. <laughs> That's why, yep, that's why the microwave helped us out. <laughs> so, the only thing that we yeah. automatically is your phones or your tablets, anything the, like that. The, the cable box, the your yeah. computer, everything is automatically, you know, yep. it goes out. back, goes or back, whichever the case may be. Yeah. We're here. Well, Do piggybacking we? off of our last segment, I know you got a little fire in you. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's too early. Hey. Right. No. This topic right here, boy. Let's go. Let's get it out early. Let's, let's talk about these. Um, let's talk about the glor. Uh, is glorification a word? We don't make it even if it ain't. It is. It is. Glorification, the glorification of the glorification is a word. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, I'm just checking. It's early. I'm, I need y'all to have my back. Thank y'all. So, yes. The glorification of these side chicks that's happening. I don't know if you've seen them, Jay. It's worldwide. <laughs> is it? <a> pandemic. Look. <laughs> look. <laughs> I ain't got to worry about side chicks. <laughs> hey, single guys don't worry about side chicks, too. Mm -mm, they don't. They, they don't. Yeah. They don't. <laughs> oh, what? Okay. He said that. He actually said that out loud. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> well, you got a side chick because it's on the side for your main chick. <laughs> you see, you ain't got a main chick. You got two. Or three. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't that. Hey, you, 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 you having a good time. You ain't. If I ain't told one See, girl. That's the that, problem. No, no, but look, man, look, if I ain't told one girl that we are dating, or if I'm, you know what I'm saying? If you just. Know, okay, you said told that we need to really. Women don't hear that. If, no, but we, look, bro, if you're single. No, 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 no. We, okay, okay. We. <laughs> <laughs> If you act like you my man, in my head, you my man. So if you yeah. say, I'm saying when you acting like you my man, I'm yeah. acting like I'm your girl and I'm your only girl. So I'm just telling you how we think. Oh, yeah, most definitely. I'm not. Uh, breaking code. Yeah. So if you doing all the stuff and everything, like you're acting like you're my man, even though it hasn't been verbalized. And I think mm -hmm. a big problem, me personally think that's a big problem, but so many women get confused. So many men are like, what? Why do you think that? I never said that? But you doing all, you're checking off all her boxes, you know? What, what if that's just what, like, and what if that's the only way a man knows how to operate? You know, just. Well, I'm just saying, you need to, okay, to help with that. And I think a lot of women, they know it, but they're like, could we talk? I told y'all we talk. Mm -hmm. girl, girl, he introduced me to his whole family. Mm. And I mean, this actually, that actually happened to me. Men are dumb. Y'all got to let us know what's going on. <laughs> well, I'm letting you know, so you no, can't, I, I understand that that's, if that's how you treat a woman, that's just how you treat a woman. But I'm telling you, most women, most women need you to say, look, 
This is just how I am with everybody. Mm. Be not a misunderstanding because we, so many women get caught up in the actions. Well, actions speak louder than words. Girl, did he say he was his girl? No, nah, but girl, he introduced me to his whole family. Why would he do that? He special. Why would he do that? Girl, I, mean, I met his friends. I've been around his friends. And you done brought me, her, and her around your friends. Because that's just what you do. And I'm just letting you know that's part of the confusion. So you single as you want to be, but somebody or two or three somebody's think you're, she's your main girl because of how you treat her. Yeah, hey, if I'm if I'm bringing around my family, then me personally, I, it, it, I yeah. that already was now if it's around friends or anything, or excuse me, I like to be upfront. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna just okay, we just mess around then like you say you're doing this and that, and then you just mm -hmm. fall into a relationship without nobody like no, I mean if it, if it okay. is that's what it is, or we just yeah. hang up, then you know. I'm just I'm just saying some women you have to be so clear about that amen i'm telling you it's it's crazy and and i'm old and I, I i see women my age going through the same but why is he doing this and why is he doing that and this and that so i actually evolved and heard men say listen to what men say <laughs> <laughs> so it sounds like the common denominator here is communication yep. communication because and, and even though that. and even though the actions are there you really have to verbalize men Y'all men, y'all need to really make it plain and make it clear. Well, Even in this side chick glorification situation. See, yeah. but men, you actually just gotta like actually draw pictures out so we can fully understand it. <laughs> Sometimes that's the visual aid. And you, and you know when, when the kids when they first start learning how you draw shapes. Yeah. Shape. <laughs> or when you the first book when you see the apple, it says apple underneath it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, when it says apple, it's an um, apple. So um, yeah. Make sure you write big words, main chick, side chick. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I honestly think though, it's we we gotta do better as far as that. Me and Angel has communicated a lot of times. Mm -hmm. But that simple question from from the woman from the other side. Mm -hmm. Hey, what what are we? What are we? Yeah. And most of the time, too, but when we, we can. They, they, you know, they get scared to <laughs> but ask that's that good, question. At least because you get that honest answer. Yeah. yeah. And people, women are scared to ask that question because they don't want to mess up what they got. Yeah, they don't, yeah, they don't yeah. want to ruffle no feathers. And so right. And they know. A different way. I guess if I had to give some advice, I would probably say, from a woman's standpoint, maybe you ask the question like, um, kind of like what can you say? Hey, you checking off all the boxes, man. I just, I don't want to get caught up yeah i don't want to have something in mind that you don't yeah, so let's make sure we're on the same page yeah, yeah and, and that's fun because that, that's one of the main problems i had like with my last relationship and it was it was fully on me because it wasn't never at full communication and honestly i started here and she was here oh. so, so so even as we went up it still was like this oh. so, so you were you said she was here yeah so oh, and I was, yeah. You know, and yeah. oh, and like I said, that, that was solely on me because it's not communicating that. But after the at the time, of course, you started catching feelings because that's what you did with them. But at that point, she's still a little bit higher than me as far as our relationship, the feelings, and all that. Yeah. So, Too I many assumptions. Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, what, what do you think would have would cured that? Communication. You no, know, but yeah. see, it, 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 but me, just, just be the man, I, I'm going to keep on hand. Like, it was. Uh, it, it was I was I was fine with what with what we was doing, but uh -huh. knowing uh -huh. she was so I, I I'm knowing the whole time. Yeah, so that was fully on me. And you're a nice guy. And see, what I also learned is that men see women want to bash. I don't like the male bashing. I don't do that. I don't like the all men are dogs. I don't like those kind of comments and statements. So, mm -hmm. I, but I've learned and learned to understand is that most men are very nice guys. And so they do everything possible to not hurt our feelings. And, but, but in that becomes this type of stuff, what you just said, you didn't say anything and you knew, yeah. you already knew, but it was probably hard for you because you knew she was feeling you. And, yeah, you, and, and, and somewhere in that her feelings would have gotten hurt. I mean, y'all can correct me if I'm wrong on this, but I, 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 it seems like most of the time men don't want to hurt women. And that's- I agree. 
situationships. Yeah. Sometimes it causes us to dance way more than, you know, that, mm-hmm. longer than that song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My thing, I, I was hoping that we was able to be both on the same level at some point. Right. No, mm-hmm. but just you no know, over the six to eight months, uh, it just it just never got there. And she probably didn't communicate to you that that's what she was looking for. I mean, oh. somehow it it had to have been some kind of something. Nope, oh, yeah, yeah, you absolutely right because it it yeah. started off on just you know a few yeah. things just we were just gonna get yeah. them. But I mean, yeah. not to my horn, but for after the first night, I saw some. Sh- it, it shot up with her. I was like, hold on. Yeah. I was gonna think, well, I ain't tell her, but I'm thinking like, yeah. hey, she liked you right away. Yeah. And she was, and but uh, subconsciously she's looking for a guy. And you know, whether she meant to not tell you or not, in her mind, in her heart, because that's how we are, mm-hmm. we want to be that that one. And, and it was, I, I, I wasn't putting it off as far as you know, I'm like, okay, well, I'm not dating. It was just yeah, you no. Know, it, I was, I was, I wasn't, I wasn't fully there yet. Like how she was yeah. talking. It was something like she caught feelings fast. And it was, yeah. You know, I said, and I never put it off that I don't. I'm just want to mess around. Like no, I, I was no day. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, that, yeah. yeah, but that's just a prime example. Like communication most definitely is key. I got a question. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I guess I'm, I bring it back around because I, what Jay made me think when he was saying he was here, she was here. So later, Kendra, I want to ask you how. In your opinion, how do you get, mm-hmm. you know, I, I won't ask you that, but on, on the situation of the side chick, like, what is it, what is going on that mm-hmm. the side chicks are being so glorified now that it's like, you hear yeah. side chick before you hear main girlfriend, main chick, wife, uh, you know, my girl, my lady, like, you, yeah. <laughs> like you hear side chick first. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You really do. It's kind of like it's it's like normalized now. Yeah. yeah, it's sad and it's so true. And and that's a great, great question. And I'll just give, you know, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I don't speak for every woman, but I, I'll speak for what I think is happening with that and why that is, is because it comes with very minimal requirements. Mm-hmm. Um, and nowadays, lately, uh, it's getting harder and harder to hold a person up to the standards you've set for yourself. Um, like a woman may have these certain standards for herself that, you know, requirements for a man to be in her presence or, you know, have access to her. Um, and a man is like, I don't have to do that. So he has so many options, so many choices. And it's to the point where some women, not all of us, but some women relax their standards. And so now this man comes along and he's so bold with it. And I put a post out one time, side chicks give men an arrogance that they don't deserve. Side chicks give men this arrogance because many women, multiple women, so many women have relaxed their standards. It's men are so bold with it. Like, okay, look, I I got a main chick. I'm at home with her, I ain't leaving her, but I just want to spend some time with you. And and, and women are, are okay with it. They're okay with it. And so I think it's easy because they're like, well, I don't want him around me all the time anyway. And that as a woman, it's hard for me to believe that because we are nurturing and we like the attention and we need to feel protected and we want our man with us. I know I do. I want my man with me. You know, mm-hmm. I don't understand that. I don't want him around me all the time. I think it's a uh, coping mechanism, a defense mechanism, whatever, a guard, whatever, to protect her heart from falling for this guy who she knows will never be hers. Um, I just think it's so many women who are tired of being alone, tired of waiting, you know, because these used to be things that women would do. We would wait for the guy. But along with that, there would be men who knew they had to come correct. And there's less of that. <laughs> yeah. There's multiple variables in that. And, and it's on both sides. But the main thing why side chicks are so glorified and so prevalent and so normal now is because they've just relaxed their standard. I don't think every woman that's a side chick is side chick material. It doesn't start off that way. I really don't think mo- all these women are like that. I think they had, a, had some standards 
Mm-hmm. Just let them. Just say, yeah, kind of settling. For the, for the sake of having a man around instead of waiting. I mean, shoot, I get it. Waiting is a man. I'm waiting. <laughs> I guess, I guess it, 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 it is like a somewhat of a settling. You know, settling. Yeah, it's a settling. Mm-hmm. And let me. Oh, good. You was getting ready to add something. I was going to ask. Uh, what's that? That Marvel character uh, that was created? Is it the Vision or the one that, that had the thing on for him? Yeah. The um, the stone. Yeah. Is, is that what's name? Yeah. Vision. Unless the woman is the Vision, at some point, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like at some point things things change even when it comes to that side. I never seen some like almost like you know how you gotta you've been at a job for so long and you know yeah. everything like you no know, because at, at, at the end of the day we, we are human and I think right. for, for the man like I said for for certain people they, they might think that have, having somebody on the side is 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 good for them or it's good for whatever they got going on, you know what I'm saying? With them. But at the end of the day. You catch feelings, and I, yeah. and I look at it as like this: um, the role of a side chick, it's it is it's, it's kind of tricky because say a woman is you know fine with being this, this side chick and all that, then but eventually, hey, I mean uh, unless she getting some money or something like or or being compensated for this, I mean at some point, you no, know, those feelings are going to get caught, and she's going to feel a certain type of way, but. Mm-hmm. In the same standard, like I said, the, the, like the regular woman is she lower her status or she just doing everything as far as what that man needs for, for a side chick. And as, as that man looking, he looking like, man, like, actually, it could be at some time, like, the side chick, um, the side chick's situation is it, it's, it's like sometimes better than the main chick. It's easier. It's, it's just yeah. easier. Yeah, and, and I've seen it where men are actually. After so after so long, actually break off the main chick because of how how things are performed with the side chick. Now understanding okay. that okay, now you're trying to bring that side chick and put her in the front spot. Now those same things don't apply no more. It's no sense. Far as she was the side right. chick, right? You know, oh, you know. So now yeah. her rules are changed. The rules yeah. are changed exactly because like yeah. I said, like I said, men isn't the smartest, but men, but they uh, not understanding that. Well, okay. Well, what she's doing as a side chick is is being a side chick. Now, when, when once yeah. she gets moves, if you, you know, what I'm saying, want to make her your man, like those same things don't apply. But it's crazy. I've he's heard stories where side I'm chick. Getting, I have done that before. And he's gonna get another side chick. Yeah. <laughs> well, so that's shit, the part. I, 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 I hope not. <laughs> but, but I'm yeah. telling you, if if that's his pattern and that's his way, if he feels like be, having a man requires whatever, unless this woman is just totally different from his current main chick if the if the side chick uh you know really is his ideal woman then that's just a different situation you know of course he he should do what he needs to do to get with her if that's who he'd rather be with and knows that's who, where he wants to be um but we ain't talking about that <laughs> yeah. just no. to answer your question still i'll say this too i also think a lot of people really don't know how to have a relationship like um a lot of brokenness, um, a lot of not good examples of what a relationship is because you don't, you need to get to know a person. There's, there's different levels to the relationship. And sometimes women, they get this treatment by the, these wonderful men. You know, I'm talking about the side chick. They get the dates. They get the, 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 the woo, 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 you're so beautiful. They get the good morning text. They get all these things and they, they dive right in. Like the example uh, Jay just told us about the girl was, she dove right in. That's not healthy. That is actually a toxic trait. So I just think some women, a lot of women, unfortunately have that fatherless female syndrome and they kind of, and I'm being, I'm getting deep with it and, and y'all bring me back, but this is how I think of it. I think that fatherless, the fatherless female syndrome kicks in and this man presents himself as this wonderful my hero, he loves me. He's giving me all his attention. He's taking me out on dates. He thinks I'm beautiful. He's doing, and it's a lot of these women that didn't get that growing up, or even if they didn't get grown up, they didn't come to it on their own as an adult woman. And so they're still looking for that validation from a man. And they fall into these situationships and it's, it's okay because they like it. It's self-satisfying in some kind of way. It's satiating to them. 
in some kind of way. So they become the side chick for that, you know? And then like Jay, to Jay's point, yes, we are human beings and we have feelings and we will catch feelings because of that. Mm-hmm. You know? But instead of being, okay, this ain't cool. How is he able to be with me? And then I know he's leaving to go be with another woman. How is that okay with me? You know, or <laughs> single <laughs> guy, <laughs> huh? Yeah, you like that should be a temporary situation, like a temporary position. Yeah, but, you know, I mean, if you yeah. if, if that's what you're gonna do, and that's like that yeah. should be, you know, that you that should never go go goes as far as to the point where people start to catch feelings. Mm-hmm. You know, I, but I mean, the, but that's the reality of it. It's that's you're right. It should not be that, but like we're talking about, it's glorified now yeah. to be that to do that to like, be the side chick. It's like a point where people have no problem with saying it, right? Like, they used to be right. thinking I was hating. <laughs> it used to be hating, like you know, you you didn't want nobody. To know. You didn't want nobody to know you were a side. Chick. Yeah, <laughs> but now it's like I'm the side girl. Bye. I yeah. mean, <laughs> things like that, like I said, because look. I'll be 30 this year and mm-hmm. hey, I'm I'm I get called sugar daddy one more time. I might take that lane. <laughs> no, it's 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 like it's it's, it's it's normal. Like a lot of things like that shouldn't be like I said it's normal. Like, mm-hmm. no, if if it is if it's a, a woman selling herself for like hey, you wanna be with me, you gotta pay for me, or if it's a man that yep. wanna no yep. wanna trick off, like these things that normally people are. Uh, Keep in the top or hot, like yeah, it's yeah. Even, even nice nowadays because you get categorized like as, you get categorized as a, man. As a creep. Yeah, yeah. Being nice. Being nice. Yeah. or like you said, yeah. like, people think like if if I pay for dinner, mm-hmm. yes, then I'm automatically looked at up. I'm, as some people, I'm looked at as lame. I'm looked at as sugar daddy, like you said. One, you know? Yeah, and one thing I hate. look, y'all, I went I went somewhere last Saturday, and I'm telling you, I it was a gentleman that called me and wanted to go out. And I said no to that date, but I said, look, I'll be Is this a sign <laughs> meet, meet me here. And we're both single. Wait, we both single, right? I'm just telling y'all, like to, to your point, Tony, it's true. I made sure he not paying for my stuff. Cause I don't want to feel like he I owe him. You owe him anything. Yeah, that, that's hey, that's that's key. And so I'm telling you, it's like you I'm going in with like when he first asked me out, I said no. Because I didn't want no misunderstandings, right? Thing. So I said, but this is what we can do. So I that gave me the the control, you mm-hmm. know, in my mind. So I'm I know where I'm going. Don't pick me up. I met meet me here. <laughs> that's, so a, that's, it's, that's a it's, very viral of me, though. But I, I understand that though. I understand well, it should, why it, it should be because those kind of boundaries that you said. Yes. And yes. I, I get that. I do. I definitely yes. see that. But that that'd be that. But that's like. Or like that'd be a red flag with, with, with a lot of men. It would be, and they should I'm, be. I'm in, because that, like I said, because at, at that point she's in control of what's going on. A, a lot of and men. See, but see, that shouldn't be. It yeah, shouldn't yeah, even, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it shouldn't be looked at like that. It should. It, it should. I should feel safe and comfortable. Right. And the, I should want that for me. Instead now let me ask you: Is it, or was it the individual? Was it him? Now, if that, if that had him. easily been somebody else and you wouldn't have had those boundaries. I think I, me, I think the individual was me. I think I still would have had those boundaries, but it definitely was him. For See, okay. sure. <laughs> That's because, what I was thinking, because I, I was thinking if, if you had been, you, it seemed like to me that, correct me if I'm wrong, you wanted to make sure this stayed on yes. the sonic, yes friendly relationship nothing yes. more nothing less and yes that was your way of doing it and i, I understand yes. that because yep, yes. i'm exactly you're dead on that's I, right i was ready to say because I, I hate when when men say this but i mean whether you do it just straight up or you do it all the time you oh yeah. you pay for that yeah. you know what i'm saying whether you give her 200 dollars or whether you take her out on a date and all that so yeah but but so that's why i understand as far as where she comes from because that's how a lot of men think they think if i'm doing this yep. I'm, doing, I'm doing that yeah because I, that's all I, they want because, yeah. because to me for as a woman and 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 i and i will speak for most women on this because to me that lets us know where you where we stand with you you know if you going in thinking that's what you want then that's exactly how you're gonna think. Mm-hmm. Well, if I'm paying for her dinner, we some gonna jump off later. But if you really wanna get to know me, you're gonna take me on this date and you're gonna talk to me and then we're gonna go on another date and you're gonna get to know me and it's gonna progress. 
So if you're going, if you a man going in with this whole, well, I pay, I done drop two hundred dollars for this for tonight. I, you know, it shouldn't be a problem if that ain't all you want from me. And that goes back to what thing something you said earlier as far as what a side chick does to a person. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That not so now he's arrogant and he's you know saying things because he, mm-hmm. he, he 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 have dealt with women that that's all that's all it took. Yes. So now he he go on with any other woman thinking that that, 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 that the same thing is sweet. Yeah, just like I set those boundaries, there are women who would have been who would have been just perfect. They would have been so overjoyed with the fact, oh, he asked me out on a date, and they would have went. And then they said, well, you know what? Next week I'll be here. Meet me here. And they both would have met up again, and then something would have jumped off, you know, because he knew, he he knew going in, she cool. I ain't got the, I don't have those requirements. Mm-hmm. And so men know that they it know. Is, it's just unfortunate know. because, well. I, no, I guess not unfortunate. Like I say because that'll draw men away, but I guess it's drawing the wrong men away. I think that's the type of man that. Yes. It, it, and I'm telling you, he ain't problems. called me since. He ain't called me all week. Cause so I, I, but I do that. Yeah. And it, so, yeah. it goes back to what Jay said about some men having a problem because he didn't have that control. That's one big thing with me. Yep. I thank God I don't have this trait. It's like, it, I don't I like having control, but I don't mind bending. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? So if, if, we went into that situation, your situation. It wouldn't have bothered me that you wanted to pay for your stuff. I mean, I honestly, I would have asked first. I would, I, I'll take care of it. He didn't even, I'm, I can tell y'all what he said. I can tell y'all what this, and it was a, it was multiple red flags for me. But this is how he dealt with when the bill came. Okay. Oh. And he said it out loud. He could have not said it out loud. I wouldn't have had a problem. But the problem was. <laughs> He said it out loud. He, he said up at that point. I was gonna pay for the whole thing, but he said up <laughs> and plus a little more. And he laid his cash there with the uh, bill. Oh yeah. I didn't see. He was my, fed up at that point. <laughs> he let me <laughs> know. He, he let me know. And I'm not thing is how much you <laughs> have for me. You don't even care to say that to me like that. Yeah. That's he kinda... was, you know what? I didn't prepare to pay for the whole thing, but here's my part. Or just don't say nothing at all. Or ask, yeah. do you want to? Do- yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Or, but he didn't. He or just, put it out just, there and allow you to say, no, you don't have to pay for this. You or whatever. I mean? Or I, I'll take care of mine. No, you know the little fight that goes on <laughs> for about five seconds. No, nah, and see the it. thing was, I, I I I took his money, but I put it on my business card so I can express it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I, I went. Pre- I was going to this thing anyway. So that was the thing. And it's a high-end restaurant. It was costly. I took my son with me, whatever, whatever. I knew it was going to be some money. It was okay. It was planned. Mm-hmm. This gentleman wanted to be in my space. So I, you know, I told him about it. He came, but he said that was such, and it was some lower red flags before that, before that. But that one right there was the big one for me. Cause it was like, dude, you couldn't have not, you didn't have to say that, but it was to me, I took it as this is how much respect I have for you. I'm going to let you know how I really feel about this. You yeah. know? I would have paid for the whole thing, but what? <laughs> you know. Right. Yeah, so, exactly. But what? Yeah. What, what and, and so that was the thing. Like, don't even say that part. Just lay your money down. And so it, to me, it's like he already knew what nothing gonna happen. So that would that's how I took it. I don't have anything else to, he didn't clarify at all. And I didn't ask. So it was like, you know, I would have paid for the whole thing, but he gonna my have plus more. Yeah. I'm like. It's what? almost like he it was, was trying to throw out there. I, I just, I don't know. That's one thing I never want to do is throw money out there as a tool. Because it's almost like he was throwing his money on the table saying, I got this and more. I can do a little more. I could I could have paid for this, but I'm not. Yeah, it was like he was that's throwing. how it sounded. Out. I could have paid for this whole bill, but I'm not going to. Yeah. That, You're not worth me paying your whole bill. See, that's, that's how I internalized it. Even though that could have... Not even been his thing, but then he wanted to put his arm around me later as we were walking out. You know, no, nah, we uh, yeah. No. yeah, he was definitely looking for he was looking for something a little more. I'm like, right. at that point, like, why, why is like this? you shouldn't even like what's the whole point of this? It was really cool. He's a cool person. That's what I'm saying. He's a general nice guy overall, generally speaking. He's funny. We we can conversate. 
I mean, we talk about things and it's great. I like that part. Talking about sex, so he probably was thinking that in his mind going on this date. <laughs> yeah. But this is a person who I stopped talking to a little over a year ago because he was very aggressive with the sex thing. He was very putting that out there like, oh, yeah, that. no, no, no. But then he came back around. I'm like, okay, all right. It's really annoying to women. Huh? Is that right? I mean, because some I, I've, I've seen some women that, well, maybe they just kind of act like, I know a lot of women blow it off, but I know it's got to be annoying. Like, because it's annoying to me. I've been around people in couples and groups where there's a dude that just constantly, every everything somehow relates back to sex. I'm like, oh, we're going to feel it. Oh, this is about a bunch of sex calls. Or, you know what I'm saying? Just like yeah. something. It's, it's like, very that, annoying. It's oh, annoying because it's like, don't you see the rest of me? Because I've even said, you know, there's a whole body attached to this coochie. You know, there's other things attached to this. There's a brain, there's a heart, you know. So I've said that. And it's very annoying because it's like when you keep, you might want to get to know me, but you keep throwing that in there like that. I feel like you don't see me. I got to wake up. (laughs) I thought she said her coochie got a brain in (laughs) her. I said it. Yes, I said it. We grown, right? <laughs> That's all I can see. And I look, I'm telling you, I've told men, look, I've, I've even been attracted, like very attracted to some guys who I'm like, you know what? I can't even, my heart is attached to that. And I know I'll get caught up. You know, if we do this, I ain't going to let go. My heart is in it. When it's when it involved. So I'm just saying it, it is annoying. And to me, it lets us know unless you stop after we've said said it, okay, that's enough. Okay, okay. Right. You know, we say something, whatever, and you don't stop, then we know that's all you want. Yeah, it's well, I believe that's called rape at that point. Don't be so it really is. It really is. <laughs> yeah, but this is crazy because earlier we were talking about as far as communication. <laughs> But clearly, she's communicating everything and, and letting know, and it's, you still have men that, 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 that have a problem with that. So, like, that's why it's just so, just like the disconnect where people, like, because, like I said, the dude, like, she's communicating everything, or she's c- clearly letting them know, you know, what's going on, and it's still a problem for him. He don't care. Now, you know it's, it's because he he, even like if, him. and even if his mindset wasn't the same as hers, and then they still just be a gentleman. I, I, I say, you know, maybe like, okay, I was expecting it this, but that's not what she on. So why even, you know? Yeah. It, it's, to me, it's, it's like a game to him now. It's a challenge. I oh. heard said. He, 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 he don't keep trying. Like, this, I, I, you, <laughs> might, you might think you might not hear from him again, but he, okay, I'm, uh, okay. Sure, yeah. so maybe work for this. <laughs> but, well, I think he would have probably reached out by now, like whole week. He, if, yeah, he ain't gonna call. A week, a week to me is a statement. If I don't call you, yeah. Hey, he does. Right? He ain't gonna call me back. What well, I'm saying, sorry, because he's single. He he, he can probably went one of the girls that. that, that yes, he, yes. Mm-hmm. he probably he probably went ahead and said, okay, she she really is. She means what she says. And she, right. she means her boundaries are there and her standards are there. She <clears> means it. So now he knows. So he got. I'm sure of it. This dude is is very capable of pulling, you know, and he ain't got to try that hard. So I'm sure mm-hmm. he got to got you, got you, got the you. easy part where that meal, his part of the meal would have covered both their meals, you know. Mm-hmm. But, oh, you know yeah. I mean, he probably went to where it was easier. Yeah. That, yeah. That, hey, that's that's what most people do. I mean, that, it's almost like you do. They, people don't yeah. want to work. And so, so the, the irritation for me and a lot of my friends and women that are single and trying to keep their standards, a lot of a big irritation about side chicks is that they indirect, they're indirectly impacting my single life. <laughs> and it's, a, it's <laughs> laughing, but I'm so serious. It's like, I feel like I'm the weird one. I'm the one that's like not cool or I'm the one that's like uh, difficult or you know, complicated because I have these standards. And so me and my friends, we, we talk about it, you know, sometimes. And it's like, they make it so hard because men don't have to try. And I'm, I've heard a guy say that, you know, he straight up told me I got a main chick at home, but I still want to hang out. Give me a call whenever you want to hang out. And he said, but I'm not going to call you or nothing. I mean, this arrogance, you know, yeah. and it's like, no, 
but I, I'm here single. I'm over here trying to be a lady. I'm over here trying to keep my standards and I'm trying to maintain myself, you know, confidence and assurance and, and who I am and what I can live with. I'm trying to maintain that. But these side chicks make it difficult because like we're saying, you know, some gentlemen come across my path and we have this conversation and he's like, well, dog, I ain't got to do all that. You know, but that to me is like, you are not my one. So, but even if I find a guy that feels like I'm his one, does he really feel like he wants to put that work in? And I, I'm losing that confidence in men. I'm losing that, that um, assuredness that a gentleman that really wants to get to know me will take the time to get to know me because of this normalizing this right. stuff. Yeah, and I don't want to lose that. So, so Jay, you have to help me because, or the single guys have to help me yeah. because I don't think, that's even a thing. Anymore. We we struggling too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just want to bring. I know. I just want to bring up something before we get. Wait, don't wait, wait, wait. Kenji, I just had a quick question for you. Do we have you for another five to ten minutes? Is that okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. We could. Okay. I, 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 I know you had. I know you had. I padded. No, I padded. I padded an hour. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I know. Sure. I know. Yeah, I see the time. I thank you for. I, oh, I, no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I we. Got, I got confession to make. Oh, yeah. I, I, I got a past life. <laughs> you know, I never shirt coat uh, when it comes to uh, doing a podcast, but yeah, I, I have passed like, and I actually have been a side dude before. Um, and I, when I say that is not for everybody, it's not for everybody. It's not uh-uh. because what what I thought was cool for a couple months end up becoming because hey, whether men want to admit or not, but we probably catch feelings. Just as much, or if not more, than women. And yeah. I knew about, like I said, her own situation. And yeah. the, but the thing, like the thing was, it was fine, you know. And I'm, you know, I'm just going with the flow. But once she fully gave her husband that attention back and cut me off, I felt some type of way. Yeah. But I never realized that I had started to catch feelings until that happened. Until that happened. Yeah. And I was like, at that, oh my, I'm cool at that. Because I, I, I wow. feel like I, I got betrayed. Wow. That's why I'm like, yeah, that's, that, that, that crap is not for everybody. It's not. And see, that right there is a frustrating thing because you act like it doesn't hurt you. Because I wrote some notes here. It's like when you get caught, let's say that woman got caught, uh, she's going to tell her husband, oh, he really didn't mean that much to me. Mm hmm. You want to be that person? Excuse me? <laughs> it didn't, right. It didn't mean you anything. And you, y'all you kicking it for six, seven months on the side, and then it comes to light. Oh, he didn't mean nothing to me. She didn't mean nothing. It really wasn't anything for me. And this, uh, this is a whole human being over here. And it's like you disregard that person totally. The feelings, the time spent, the money spent, everything. You totally dismissed it when, you, when it comes to light because now you're trying to save your main stuff. I say at that point, people would just say just, just, just say whatever to, to, to yeah, try to get out of keep, yeah. Yep, because you're trying to keep but it's, have going. You're yeah. trying to have your cake and eat it too. Because this is the whole yeah. reason why you have someone on the side. You don't want to, for whatever reason, but you still, because if, that, if it was that easy, then just break off what you got going on. But they could easily yeah. be in business with each other, you know, got a family, you know. It's, yeah. It'd be too much as far as to break up or get that divorce. They just, well, let me just do this. Well, it's still, to me, it's still a human being involved. I mean, I have a past life too. And I, my first marriage, his friend actually was like, you know, and my husband was a jerk to me during that time. Um, but his friend, was a uh, wanted me. Let me just put it like that. I mean, he was doing things saying because he knew he could see what was going on in the marriage. Mm-hmm. That was his friend. He was coming over. He trusted him with me. He trusted him with me. <laughs> That's one it was, that it, was it was crazy. So we talked about that with Kiara Sheer and stuff. Right? So yeah. this, I'm telling you, this guy had inside information. Oh yeah, see. But I'm yeah, not. Careful. I don't roll. I don't roll like that. So I'm like, look, dude. You know, I'm married. He didn't care. I'm gonna tell y'all what he did. Now that it was one, it was a long time ago. Long, 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 long time ago. Over 20 years ago. So that's what I'm talking about. But anyway, what I remember is one year for my birthday, this friend. That's when Coach first came out and everything. That was the that was the brand purse to have, or whatever. He brought the whole catalog. Pick whatever you want out of this book for your birthday. Mm. 
I don't even remember what my husband gave me for my birthday, but I remember that. Wow. So, I mean, but to me, it's like, a, I, I always would consider the fact that even though my husband at the time was a jerk to me, if I feel like I needed to be with his friend, me and this husband need to have a conversation. Yeah, right. And every time right before I thought I was going to cheat, it wasn't often. that I said that like it happens all the time. But when I thought I was going to cheat or step outside the marriage or whatever, uh, that's when I said I need to sit down and have a conversation with this person I'm married to. Because this is still a human being. There's Even though you say whatever to save face or whatever, once you get caught or whatever, you still, those words hurt people, you know? Um, and I would always think about that. I always think about the other woman, like whenever, like now that I'm single when married men approach me or whatever, I always think about yes. where the woman think you at? Mm-hmm. What the woman think you doing right now? You know what I'm saying? So I always think about that other human being that's involved. Yeah. You know? And a lot of women or a lot of people that are side pieces or whatever, I don't think they care. You have to turn off something in your heart to say, I'm doing this because it's all about me. Right. You know, it's a selfish, selfish thing. And, you know, I just can't do it. I, you know, it's crazy because I tried when I was in my 20s and I got caught big time. <laughs> I mean, I tried to do that, you know, because, you know, I would always get accused of it anyway. I'm consuming. Like, like let me just see what I this really- is about. But, man, I got busted real bad. It was horrible. I, it's so time for so I'm just thinking about it now. Like time means more to me now than, than any at any other point mm-hmm. in my life. Mm-hmm. And I just had a conversation with my brother-in-law earlier in the week. And I, I honestly told him, I said, man, I he's single and, and I was just like, man, let me, let me just be honest. Like I'm I said I'm trash. I mean, I'm I'm me, but what I was saying is I was like, if I wasn't married, I I don't know what this it's just like women, the women that I see. Now they expect it's different from when it's different. I got in, you know, into a relationship and I got married. It's like I'm like, I'm just thinking about going on a date now with a woman. Like, I'll be like, I may be trash. I'm I'm I think I'm a, a cool dude, but yeah, to her, she's like, really? because yeah, it can nine days, bro. Uh see, it's more to it. Like you I guess it's time consuming and having a side chick is not cheap. Yeah. Right, because I, I don't, I, I believe. But, that. And well, with some women, it is. <laughs> but but I, 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 it depends I, I, on I, the woman. I'm looking at now, like a lot of women, like see, I, I I don't even think it's that the case as far as a woman is on the side for free. I think you you as, as you 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 either pay for some you to 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 keep her on the side. I know now that maybe it was like that at one point, but I said now. I said one is time consuming, and then two, you actually gotta like, man, like having something on the side is like a a a, a, a bill, so, part time job. Yep. Yeah. So is it mm-hmm. is it safe to say? I I think most of the time, like you said, the side chick is there's something financially beneficial for her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You for know, her, most of the time. And, and, yes. Yes. Yeah. That That's another I, part. I, of, yeah. Yes. I didn't even think she she, that. she will require that a side yeah. chick. Yeah. Require you paying my rent, my car note, or something. Right. That's what I was just about to do. Doing something. And to me, to me, what, what other, what is that another word for prostitute? Because, yeah. I mean, but you got to think, then, then if you roll, roll, reverse the roll, yeah. And men are just so simple with it. Men are cool with just, if a male's a side dude, they don't need no money. They just cool with getting some. Yeah. You know, that's, but that's, that's like, you know, though. like a trade off. Like that's that's the glorification. That's, part yes. Of the trade off yes. is you you see the man flashing money, and you see the women flashing body. Yeah. You know what I mean? That that's just the trade off. That's, that's just just just, just the trade off. I, I worked with a woman who was a um, <clears throat> time side chick. She was very proud of it, and she was like my mama's age. And I was like, my mama would never act like that. And she, <laughs> right. but she said, but I keep a Mercedes. I keep living in this neighborhood all my life. I don't have to worry about retirement. That's what she, that was her response. And she smiled. She just as happy as she want to be. But I still think there's a, it's a blocking because as a woman, naturally, we're nurturers and we're caregivers and we love and we don't want that, just that. I know, I mean, I cannot be the only woman that feels this way, <laughs> you know? No. 
cannot be the only woman that, that cares about turning over and he's not there. I cannot be the only woman that feels like, man, when he leaves me, I automatically know where he's going and it's with another woman. That bothers me. I cannot be the only woman that feels that way. Well, because, I mean, I think you hit it on the point earlier when you said, I forgot the exact word that you used, but it's like you got a lot of women that deal with either... Fatherless female syndrome. Exactly. Or, you no, know I'm saying, or they fighting the fact that, well, they almost like they blocking that out of their life. Even though, because yes. I believe, because yes. like I said, at the, end, at the end of the day, you're human. At the end of the day, that's a, yes. a, a human. And unless you just really mess up in the head, like, that, mm-hmm. that, that comes comes across your head. But we got to think about it too, like, a lot of, like, I, I've seen this with women that has gotten dog or just put so much time in, into relationships and just, you know, mm-hmm. the outcome was good to the point where they end up becoming that side shit because yes. it's simpler for them. That's all they can take, that they've been hurt too yeah, bad. Yeah. They're not going there no more. Yep. Y'all know I'm the weird king of comparing things. Mm-hmm. And so I, this is all I have to say. And it's for our industry. Like, I know Kendra has the tech and she could give us some, probably some dope, dope comparisons and metaphors comparing yeah. the side thing to tech. But in our industry, which is trucking, I'm going to tell you, Kendra, what I feel like. And this okay. is like the side chick thing. And that, hey, I'm in a relationship, so people might say I'm not qualified. But I'm going to say this. <laughs> there is a group of people in the trucking industry right now that... And I'm only going back to what you said, Kendra, when you said it, it's affecting you as a single. Indirectly, yes. Indirectly, yeah, affecting you. So we're being indirectly affected by people who are taking loads way lower than the value. Yeah, so what it does yes. is it brings down the value where we know what it's yes. really worth. And if yes. it's really worth $1,600 and you out here taking it for $800, you are killing the market. Yes. <laughs> And, and they're never going to adjust it and make it right until they don't have to. you step. Yeah, they don't have to. So looking at it from their perspective, it's, yes. easy. Ooh, it's easy, it's cheap, and I'm going to make yes. money. And I get what I want, and I still get what I want. You, that's, that, that's it. You hit that's it. it. Man. I just, that's exactly I just, it. Like, man, that, that, yeah, I know you can relate. <laughs> that's how it feels. Can and, and Tony, to, it's, it's funny. It's not funny that you use that comparison, but that's exactly how it feels. Because every time I get approached with that, whatever, that side piece proposition, it I feel like, dog, that's all you see me as? And I do feel, you know, a little deflated for a moment. It's like, wow, I'm not worth anything more than that. And then it's like, dang, it's coming at me like, and I'm like, look, I ain't even trying to attract nothing right now because it seems like that's all I'm attracting. But I don't think that's it. I think that's just the, like you said, why would I pay more? Why would I do more? Why would I meet these requirements when I don't have to? I can stay right here and still get everything I need and want. Mm-hmm. Boy, so I got a question. So what, so what is it? So how is the conversation when a man is approaching a woman asking for him to be a side suit? You want to know? You want to know the conversation? You want to yeah. know how I go? Uh-huh. Okay, true story. Uh, okay, so I saw you checking me out, and I was—I didn't know this man's status at all. So mm-hmm. attractive, he was cute, handsome, whatever you know, nice, tall, built, you know. And so yeah, I was looking at him, and so he at a point came up to me and said, "I saw you." And he said, "I just have to get your phone number." I'm like, okay. I mean, he came to me like a single person. Like, oh, okay. so I gave him my phone number. The man called me. I mean, he's like, okay, so maybe tomorrow we'll, you know, go through lunch, whatever. Okay. I had no reason to think this person was not in a relationship or whatever. Mm-hmm. He called me. We talked and everything. And the first thing out of his mouth was, I have a main, you know. Oh, wow. However he put it, he has a he has a home. Right. Somebody at home, they're not married, but he's he said, well, I've been in this relationship for like four years, so I'm not going anywhere. And I'm like, he said, there's kids involved. I'm like, oh. And I was like, dang. So, but he kept talking to me. And I said, you know what? I was looking forward to, I was about to start getting ready to go on this lunch date or whatever, but I'm not doing that. He was like, really? I'm like, yeah, really. I'm not, I don't. Do 
Mm-hmm. I mean, he he did not expect me to say no because he knew I was cheating, but I know you was checking. I said, yeah, I was, but I didn't know you had this going on. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So like, yeah, I thought like you were available. Like I said, I thought you were That's his thing. Right? I'm yeah. sorry, I'm breaking code, but that was his thing. That, yeah. By being yeah. up front, you know how many times that probably works? Because yeah. he figured our first conversation, I'm being up front. I yeah. told you what it was. Yes. And yes. I did. I and he was so charming. You. I mean, my and I wrote this note down too. Men know going in, they know it ain't going nowhere with them. So he knew how to, they know how to say whatever. And he probably has said this, like you're saying, that's his game. And so he was, we were, we had a really good conversation. He said, man, you just seem like we would just, I know we would have a good time. You seem so fun and everything. I'm like, I am, you know. And then I said, we would have a good time. <laughs> we even talked about sex. We even talked about sex. He asked me in this first initial conversation, he asked me, well, are you sexual? Are you a sexual person? I said, I am very much so, but I'm practicing celibacy right now. He was like, what? And that really, oh man, we need, you know, I can, man, I can. <laughs> he, got, he got excited. He got excited. And I said, you know what? I'm not that. And so we shifted the conversation to that. And that's when he said to me, exactly he gave me some information he said you know how many women don't feel the way you do and there's a lot of women who you know they will go they'll be okay because he like i'm saying he's a high quality guy he will not have a problem so he didn't believe me and he said to me and i did talk to him one one more time after this conversation and i told him i said no nah, i'm not the side chick type i don't do that I, i'm not even going you know my heart is attached and I can't even mess around with you. I can't even play with you like that. That's what I said. And then, so we hung up the phone. Uh, so then I text him. I said, I hate you. <laughs> and he like, what I do? I said, I was doing just fine. And here you come, you know. <laughs> you know, so we started talking again. And he said, you know, after we hung up, you said no to me. He said, I sat and look, he said, I sat in the car and looked at the phone for about 20 minutes. <laughs> You weren't in the house doing that, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. <That's the> problem. <laughs> yeah. You was in your car. And I said, I said, look, I like to pick up the phone at two, three in the morning and woo 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 to my guy. I'm not gonna sit here and ponder and wonder. Yeah. To, you know, I'm not doing that. So I said, I just wanted you to know I was doing just fine. You could have just, you know, left me alone. You knew you weren't single, you know. So after that, he was he told me, he said, I just couldn't believe you said no. He said, I really thought you wanted me. I'm like, yeah. If you were single, you're not available. So that's how the, that's how that goes. That's one example of how a man will ask you to be a soccer chick. And see, any and at any point, I could have easily, I'm I'm planning trips. I live way out somewhere. You know, I could have easily been like, you know, let's, let's just connect a couple of times and you know, just a couple of times. Right. Yes. easily because he, he put himself out there like that right. what, what do you like to do what's your thing I love to travel so I'm telling you man you want to go on this trip with me I mean it's so easy right I, I can't do it I, I, I can't I'm not saying you know there's been times like I'll call my friend or I'll text my friend girl I really wanted to text that dude he he really could be that one that'll break my break all my rules you know and um but I, I will text her, like I'll start a text. I won't even put a name in it because I don't want to accidentally send it to her. <laughs> so this, these are things that help me. It's not, it's not easy. It's not easy standing in this not wanting to be a side chick thing. And like I'm saying, that's how it indirectly affects me. And that's why I get frustrated about the whole thing because he very easily let me just go. You know, um, well, he has a woman. That's one thing. But even single, there's a single guy that approached me too. He was, he, he right away, I, I don't want no girlfriend, but I, man, you, you desirable. I want to get with you. And I'm like, but you got so many people that's willing. He said, yeah, I ain't talking to a willing. I'm talking to you. That's what he said. That's how men talk to women. Oh, wow. That's, they're so direct. That mm-hmm. that arrogance. That stuff about arrogance. That's and the I, normalization of it now. Side chicks give, give men this arrogance that they don't, Need to have. Did that answer your question? It, it don't work for all of us. Oh, I ain't have a question. No, no, I mean oh. your question though. You said how to. You asked, oh, did I answer? Oh yeah, yeah, most definitely. <laughs> she, she, we broke it down. 
<laughs> I was just going to compare that to like that conversation she was having to do and I was like, I said, then how she texted me back and said, I hate you. I guess that's, that's why I'm, I don't do drugs. Them conversations I've been having with drugs. Yeah. Look, and then I, I get looked at as, 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 as the weird one because everybody else doing drugs not going to do drugs. Yeah. 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 <laughs> What's wrong uh-huh. with nothing? I thought I was it's, okay. But, yeah, you, you yeah. gonna be cool because you don't, but you cool because you ain't. Right. You cool because you doing it nowadays. It's switched. It's like I'm I'm not cool because I'm not a side chick. Right. I'm complicated. <laughs> but I, I'm already excited for our next conversation now because I got some other stuff. But I don't even want to start start that. <laughs> yeah. Up. Go down there. Well, I wanna I wanna do a shameless plug in my next show. You see the shirt I got on? Oh, that, oh. I, I should have asked you first. No, no, this, hey, this, is, this is our platform that we should okay. so, go ahead. Yeah, and, so I have on this shirt is uh, Marcus Adams is one of the gentlemen who uh, musicians, saxophonist, national saxophonist, vocalist, instrumentalist, producer, you know, who I work with a lot. And I have a show coming up March 26th, right here in Lockport, Illinois. So it's local to us, not y'all, I know. But any of y'all that are listening are in Joliet area, whatever. Um, tickets are still on sale. All the VIP tickets are gone. They sold out. The VIP tickets are sold out. So there's only general admission left. But uh, I'm wearing his merch. He's giving out gifts. The VIP gets a gift and a, a free drink. The first drink is on me. Uh, so that's coming up March 26th. Productions. Okay. Yeah. Are you doing monthly? Will you have something in April as well? I, I, not this year. I was doing monthly, but not this year. Traveling, I'm traveling this year. But my son, see, okay, another shameless plug. My son is coming up. He's doing his thing. So I'm working as his manager, momager. <laughs> so um, there's some things being set up for him. So I'm working on that stuff too. So April is for him. And then May is my birthday. So I'm traveling. Wait, your birthday is when? May. May what? May 15th. Oh, Lord. <laughs> what? When is your birthday? May 13th. Oh! <laughs> I loved you. I do. I love you. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> um, but yeah, like that's great. I actually think I saw a video of your son. Um, oh yeah, you commented. Talented, talented, bro. Mm-hmm. But I was yeah. on joke with you. And then you uh, is that you can't tell nobody come to the show and the first thing is on me. That's why you. That's why you get approached by men like that. You can't get them already. Well, that's <laughs> so, who I am. And, and then don't am, they gonna approach you a certain. I way. am the kind one. I am the kind <laughs> one. You know, but I get that though. People say I'm a big flirt, and they they say that uh they like when I'm in a relationship, they think I'm cheating. They think they automatically think that because I am very nice. All insecurities, man. Kind of All insecurities. Yeah. But uh, yeah, but no, I I like I like being kind to people. Y'all know that, so that's my way of. But I want this. Well, it was intentional this time for VIP. I wanted the VIP to feel like VIP because they paid a little extra for their ticket. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I asked Marcus, I said, well, can we do a gift from you? And then I'll pay, you know, a complimentary cocktail for them. Nice. So. Get to that show, people. Get to that show. I, I swear, I would. Yeah. I was trying to get back home. Um, that's I, something in July. You're home for the fourth of July weekend. I, I, got would, weekend. I want to make it my business because I'm just mm-hmm. getting myself yeah. back together. Where I feel They're, like good. They're good. They're good. My shows are good. <laughs> Hey, I can't wait to attend. I got <laughs> there March 26th. What's the name of the venue? Uh, Roxy. The Roxy. Yeah, yeah. Right. Port, Illinois. Yep. On State and Street. Hey, so what are we going for our birthday again? Man. Hey, we're going to Tampa. <laughs> okay. We're going to Tampa okay. for a few that. days. Uh, one of my favorite cities. I love I'm Never telling you, there's a, there's a jazz fest going on. I'm, I'm promoting another artist who I've worked with. He's on that on that show, uh, Nathan Mitchell. He's on, uh, and he's he's in the group. He's in the ladies oh. room before he joined the group. Actually, he's, okay, nice. He's amazing, but he's gone. He's on that that uh, festival with a, a lot of others. You know, I try to pick shows that have like a bunch of great people at the same time. Okay. So it's outdoors. It's in Tampa, Florida. Um, I'm like, man. My college roommate is going with me. Her birthday is in May, also. I'm not ruling that out. That that Tampa. You, you gonna be there? In Tampa? Yeah. That's our meeting trip. We, I already, already included myself in this. I'm telling you, I'll send y'all, I'll send y'all the information. I'm telling you, I already bought my ticket. I already bought my VIP ticket to that show. 
Oh yeah, mm-hmm. you please send us that information. I just I just need to book my flight and get my hotel. So, and the one thing that that's, that's good to hear as far as with like I said the VIPs and the ticket selling because I remember uh, last month we had her on how she was telling us at one point oh, yeah. she was she had a show and nobody bought tickets. So mm-hmm. just see yes. okay, well where you yes. at now from where it was at one. Yes, point. that's was, thank you for reminding me of that because yeah, yeah. that was. That is a it's a flip. So that's why I was telling y'all keep doing what you're doing the way you're doing it because it's absolutely thank it's you. Gonna attract the right people, but yeah, isn't that crazy? I just told y'all that last month. Mm-hmm. Yep, different thing. That's, uh, that's a beautiful yeah. thing, and I know we've held you past your time. Yeah, so I, I mean my time is actually eleven, but I you know I had to pad that hour because you know, oh, yeah. thank God you did because the, the audio. Version. Yeah, thank God yeah. we got it all together, and yeah. that's first and foremost. Thank you. Um, yeah, this was great. Again. This is part two of the Breaking Soul segment with Kendra. Don't forget that show uh, coming up March 26th about Puerto Rico. Um, Marcus, Marcus Adams. Marcus Adams. Marcus it's a, it's Adams. A to, hey, the show out. is a tribute to Art Porter and Grover Washington Jr. And mm. those two, if you know Smooth Jazz, those are legends. And to do them, you must be good. And the, the artist is Marcus Adams, Brittany Atterbury, a female saxophone of y'all. Nice. And, uh, Merlon Devine, who actually comes out here to go to Bill Winston's church. So he has people that follow him. So, yeah. They're, they're you know, um, I, I'm not even lying. You know that uh, at, at one point, all, all of us, as far as uh, toy, well, I don't know what toy, but you know, all of us uh, learn how to play the saxophone. Oh, wow. Yeah, because it, it just got passed down through generations. So, going um, to do music, that was it. They wouldn't mind. That was it. <laughs> And I, 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 I actually like that is a very unique uh, instrument. Yeah. Out of all instruments, I, I love it. That's a skill. Yeah. My son plays five. Oh, wow. That's five. Well, yeah. I mean, he came out, I mean, he literally came out playing the drums. It was crazy. I mean, I'm telling y'all, it's crazy. We'll talk about he Came out playing like hell when you felt the coming. <laughs> I'm telling you. No, <laughs> when I say that, when he was seven months old, learning to sit up, we put him on the kitchen floor and we handed him, because his dad is a drummer. So we just handed him a drumstick to see what he would do. And I'm telling you, he took that drumstick. <laughs> and then so we handed him the other one. And he took those two drumsticks on my kitchen floor at seven months old, just like that. Nice. And, wow. and so then his dad had a drum kit, an adult sized drum kit. So we put him, I have a video, it's on YouTube. He was 14 months old, sitting at this big old drum kit, hitting everything, wasn't making no, you know, he was just hitting. Every part of it. So we quarantine just left him. baby before the quarantine. <laughs> he was 14 months old. That's nah, perfect. right. He was this was and he's 12. Now he'll be 13 in June. Yeah, he was so that's amazing. So I, and I tell him, I was like, you have 12 years of music experience. You know, you not an overnight whatever. You didn't just start this. You've been doing this your whole life. Right. He just kept picking up different instruments. He plays the keyboard, the saxophone, uh, the bass guitar, the lead guitar, and he's a drummer. And he plays all of them like every day. <laughs> Shout out to him, man. That's a yeah, skill. He's on there, you know, it's crazy. Especially these days with the tension span, shoot, I can barely like, yeah. <laughs> keep my mind on one. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I'm glad he's more into that than into the computer and the video game. Yeah. Do that with his friends because I'm like, you're still 12, you need to be a boy and do that. But he prefers, he's so into it on his own. So that's his passion, you know. So I just have to be supportive. And he did his first gig. And so he's doing another one and like in April, he's doing a few things. And today, later today, that's why I had to do this early. He has a school concert. Like, so he's two of the bands at school. So that's what we're doing later today. Man, we're gonna look out for him. He's gonna be on the scene real soon. Yeah. <laughs> he's gonna, he gonna be big, that's, that's what's up, man. Well, thank you. Well, you, well, you go ahead and get to your engagements. Yeah. I'm, yeah. We up now, so we good. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I, I, I think I woke jail when I said my coochie had a brain. <laughs> yeah, hey, it's been playing on the wrong it's, it's it's big, it? <laughs> Did you say that? Yeah, I, I talk like that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely yeah. want to thank you. I look forward to the next time. Uh, and I we'll do too. And we'll get the next dates together so everybody yes. looks out. I can't wait to drop this. I think this is an amazing conversation. So I love y'all. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We thank love you. you. And everybody else does too. The kind one, everybody. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. We'll be back with another one very soon.